Imagine a vast empire. Picture bustling cities, grand buildings, and impressive monuments. This was the Roman world. At the heart of this civilization was an amazing feat of engineering, the Roman aqueduct. These structures were more than just waterways. They were symbols of Roman power and ingenuity. They brought life to the cities of the empire. Roman aqueducts were a marvel of ancient engineering. They carried fresh water over long distances. The water flowed from distant springs and rivers. It traveled through underground channels and overground arches. This constant flow of water was essential for Roman life. It sustained the people, their livestock, and their crops. Roman engineers perfected the art of aqueduct construction. They used simple tools and complex techniques. Their work left a lasting legacy on the world. Even today, we marvel at their skill and vision. Water was essential for Roman life. It was more than just a necessity for drinking, cooking, and washing. Water played a central role in Roman culture and religion. The Romans worshipped water deities. They believed in the purifying power of water. Water was also a source of entertainment. The Romans enjoyed public baths and water games. Roman cities were built near water sources. This was essential for their survival. As the empire grew, so did the demand for water. The existing water sources could not keep up. The Romans needed a solution. They needed a way to transport large amounts of water over long distances. This is where the aqueduct came in. The aqueduct was a revolutionary invention. It allowed the Romans to bring water to places that had never had it before. Cities could grow larger and more prosperous. Public health improved. The quality of life for all Romans was enhanced. The Roman Empire faced a challenge. Its cities were growing, the population was increasing. The demand for water was outstripping the supply. Something had to be done. The Romans needed a way to bring water from distant sources. This challenge was not unique to Rome. Other ancient civilizations had faced similar problems. The Egyptians, for example, had developed irrigation systems. But the Romans took water management to a new level. They created a system that was both efficient and sustainable. The Romans looked to the past for inspiration. They studied the water systems of earlier civilizations. They learned from their successes and failures. But the Romans were not content to simply copy what had come before. They wanted to create something better. Building an aqueduct was a complex undertaking. It required careful planning and execution. The Romans excelled at both. They had a deep understanding of engineering principles. They knew how to use simple tools to achieve remarkable results. The first step in building an aqueduct was to identify a suitable water source. This was typically a spring or a river located at a higher elevation than the city it would supply. Once a source was found, engineers surveyed the land. They determined the most efficient route for the aqueduct to follow. The aqueduct's route was carefully chosen. It had to maintain a consistent downward slope. This ensured that water flowed smoothly by gravity alone. The Romans knew that even a slight uphill section could stop the water flow entirely. Section 5. Surveying the land, planning the aqueduct's path. Before a single stone was laid, Roman engineers embarked on a crucial task, surveying the land. They had to map out the aqueduct's route over miles of varied terrain. Accuracy was paramount. Any miscalculation could render the entire project useless. To achieve this precision, Roman surveyors relied on simple yet effective tools. One such tool was the groma. This instrument, consisting of two crossed arms mounted on a pole, helped them establish right angles. Another essential tool was the corobates. This long flat board with plumb lines was used to determine level ground and measure slopes. The surveyors faced numerous challenges. They had to navigate hills, valleys and rivers. Section 6 materials and construction arches, tunnels, and waterproof concrete. Roman aqueducts were not just impressive for their scale, but also for their robust construction. The Romans utilized a combination of materials and techniques to create structures that have stood the test of time. One of their key innovations was the use of concrete. Roman concrete was different from modern concrete. It was a mixture of volcanic ash, lime, and aggregates like stone or rubble. This combination created a remarkably strong and durable material. It could withstand the elements and the test of time. The Romans used concrete extensively in their aqueducts. They built massive arches to carry the water channels over valleys and rivers. They constructed tunnels to cut through hills and mountains. 
Section 7. Maintaining the flow, ensuring a constant water supply. Building an aqueduct was only half the battle. Maintaining a constant flow of clean water required ongoing effort and ingenuity. The Romans developed sophisticated systems to manage and regulate the water supply. Maintaining the aqueduct's structural integrity was crucial. Inspectors regularly patrolled the aqueducts, looking for cracks, leaks or signs of damage. They promptly addressed any issues to prevent disruptions in the water flow. Keeping the water clean was another challenge. Sediment and debris could accumulate in the channels, impeding the flow and affecting water quality. To combat this, the Romans incorporated settling tanks and filtration systems at various points along the aqueduct. Section 8. Water for the people, distribution and uses of aqueduct water. The arrival of aqueduct water transformed Roman cities. It was a precious resource, carefully managed and distributed. Public fountains, scattered throughout urban areas, provided free drinking water to all citizens. Water also flowed into public baths, transforming them into social hubs and centers for hygiene. Private residences, especially those belonging to the wealthy, could even have private connections to the aqueduct system. This allowed them to enjoy the luxury of running water in their homes and gardens. Water also played a vital role in Roman industries, powering mills for grinding grain and providing a necessary resource for various crafts and businesses. Beyond its practical uses, aqueduct water also had a symbolic significance. The Romans celebrated its arrival with grand spectacles and festivals. Section 9, Public Health and Hygiene, The Impact of Clean Water. The availability of clean water brought about a dramatic improvement in public health and sanitation in Roman cities. Prior to aqueducts, waterborne diseases such as typhoid and dysentery were rampant. The constant flow of fresh water from distant sources greatly reduced the incidence of these diseases. Public baths, supplied by aqueduct water, became centers for hygiene and social interaction. Romans could bathe in clean water, promoting cleanliness and reducing the spread of diseases. The baths also served as social spaces, where people could relax, exercise and engage in conversation. Moreover, aqueduct water facilitated the construction of sophisticated sewer systems. Section 10. The Decline and Fall of Roman Aqueducts The Roman Empire, like all empires, eventually crumbled. With its decline came the neglect and eventual downfall of many of its magnificent aqueducts. Centuries of warfare, economic hardship, and political instability took their toll on these vital structures. As Roman power waned, so did the resources and manpower needed to maintain the aqueducts. Invasions and internal conflicts often resulted in damage to the aqueducts, disrupting the water supply to cities. Without regular maintenance, the channels became clogged with debris, arches crumbled, and tunnels collapsed. The decline of the aqueducts had a devastating impact on Roman cities. Water shortages became common leading to a resurgence of waterborne diseases and a decline in sanitation. Section 11. A legacy in ruins, the enduring impact of Roman aqueducts. Though many Roman aqueducts fell into ruin, their legacy has endured for centuries. Their crumbling arches and abandoned channels stand as testaments to Roman ingenuity and ambition. They inspire awe and wonder in those who behold them, sparking curiosity about the civilization that built them. The principles of engineering and water management that they embody continue to inform modern practices. Their emphasis on gravity-fed systems, careful surveying and durable construction techniques is still relevant today. Moreover, the Roman aqueducts serve as a reminder of the importance of investing in public infrastructure. They demonstrate the profound impact that access to clean water and sanitation can have on a society's health, prosperity and overall well-being. Section 12. Conclusion. A testament to Roman ingenuity. The Roman aqueducts stand as enduring symbols of Roman ingenuity, engineering prowess, and commitment to the well-being of their citizens. These remarkable structures, spanning vast distances and overcoming challenging terrain, brought life-giving water to bustling cities, transforming urban life and shaping Roman civilization. The construction of these aqueducts required a deep understanding of hydraulic principles, meticulous surveying, and the coordination of vast resources and skilled labor. They were not merely functional structures, but also objects of beauty and civic pride, embodying Roman ambition and their mastery of the natural world. 
Though many aqueducts fell into disrepair with the decline of the Roman Empire, their legacy has resonated through the ages. Their ruins continue to inspire awe and wonder, while the principles they embody continue to inform modern engineering and water management practices. The Roman aqueducts stand as a testament to the enduring human capacity for innovation, collaboration, and the pursuit of a better life.